Hi everyone, welcome back to the 4Play channel. I'm Bella. I'm Jace. Before we get into today's video, make sure to leave this video a like. It really helps us out. Comment if you guys have any videos that you want to see or any questions that you want answered for a video. Make sure to subscribe. I said it really, really helps us out. But let's get into today's video. <laughs> is going to be about five ways that swinging actually makes us stronger. I feel like we get all the time people are saying, how could it possibly make you stronger? How can it make your relationship better? So we are going to give you five ways. The first way is communication. Communication in general, but especially in the swinging lifestyle, you are put in different situations and you experience different things that you wouldn't typically experience in yes. a traditional relationship. And so that is going to bring up a lot of different types of conversations. And you have to be really open about talking about those things so you can work through things that happen. So no matter how good you think your communication skills are, when you're put in a completely new environment, there's gonna be so many questions that arise that you could have never even thought about asking or talking about. And it's going to also make you be able to learn how to communicate a little bit quicker because you're gonna to need to know how to talk to your partner and sometimes you guys need to make decisions together and maybe you're not in a super private area. So you need to learn how to communicate really well and also it goes really big into being able to kind of like read your partner. We're always checking in on each other during any sort of activity that we're doing and it makes us be able to tell if either one of us feels a little bit off. It's like body language too so in addition to the communication as you continue on with this journey and you learn more and more about each other and more about the lifestyle in general you do start to pick up on little cues about your partner and it's not just with verbal communication but with body language as well. Another huge thing that you get to communicate about is pillow talk and what that is if you guys you know are laying in bed and maybe talking about a fantasy those types of things open up new conversations and let you get deeper and deeper into what you're talking about. And that pillow talk also really strengthens your communication ability. And when you can communicate in these kind of situations, it makes communicating in your normal day-to-day -day life that much easier, that much better. And I swear, the lifestyle, I think out of everything that's helped us the most, the communication that we've been able to build through all the situations we've been through has been the most helpful, strengthening thing to our relationship maybe of all time, like definitely up there with one of them. And that bleeds into your everyday relationship too. So it's not only communication in the lifestyle, but it's communication if you guys have some kind of argument or fight outside, not even relating to the lifestyle at all, because you're able to work on those communication skills. It goes into all of the aspects of your relationship. Way number two that really helps us is active listening. So what active listening is, is basically if you guys are having a conversation, it's hearing what your partner says and making sure that you truly understand it. For example, if we're having a conversation now and Bella says something, if I'm kind of questioning maybe what it means, I'll repeat back to her what I think she means by it. We used to get in arguments and we figured out later on that the reason we were having an issue was because I thought she meant one thing because of how she said it, but I just didn't understand exactly how she was saying it. So active listening lets you listen to your partner and then it lets you repeat back to make sure that you guys are on the same page so that you can actually get to the root of an issue so you can talk about it to solve it and not be just talking about two different things and you guys you think you're talking about the same thing. And that again also bleeds into every part of your relationship, not just in the lifestyle. The third way is, this is one of our favorite things. I yeah. mean, of course, communication, everything is part of our favorite things, yeah. but the reclaiming and the aftercare after having an experience with another couple is one of the most, I think, meaningful things for us in the lifestyle. And that's just because you're able to reconnect with your partner in such a different way. And it's different for everybody, but I do know with a lot of our friends in the lifestyle and a lot of people that we've talked to in the lifestyle who swing in the way that we do with our type of open relationship, when you have experiences with other people or other couples, it's like sprinkles on top of a cake and it's not something that's necessary, but it's an activity that you guys like to do together. And so whenever you finish that fun activity and you're able to come back to your partner it's like you crave them more and that next day and even that night it's like we're closer than ever it really makes you appreciate who your partner is because we, we love our friends but the relationship that you have with your partner is so different than that relationship with other people and so it just makes you truly realize I mean you I always realize obviously how much we love each other but it's just this 
extra proof and you just like get this feeling of like wow i am so thankful that we're together and that we always have each other like as our home mm -hmm. and it just feels so special and that's not even just after you you know do stuff with the with swapping partners or whatever it is it can also just be going to a club for the first time and being in this new environment that's so different and then you know you're seeing other people and all this and then you go home and you feel that connection with your partner so it doesn't even have to be with play wise you can just be in this environment and get this reclaiming type of cinch which is just it's such an amazing feeling and we just always feel so connected afterwards and it sounds crazy to hear it and it's when you experience it is what even to this day it's still crazy to to think how being with another person brings you closer but it just it just does i don't know how to explain it but i think it, it's just that reclaiming being able to be like it's kind of like when you go on vacation and it's really fun and the vacation bed is amazing but it doesn't ever quite feel like your bed at home mm -hmm. and i feel like that's is a good way to put it it's like yeah. you always want to come home mm -hmm. and your partner is always home number four of the ways that's really helped in the relationship is it help reduce jealousy immensely we really don't deal with jealousy anymore and the lifestyle is a huge reason for that you have to think that if you can share your partner with somebody and see your partner with somebody else you really can't have a lot of jealousy i mean obviously things are going to come up here and there but you're able to learn how to talk through them and not having jealousy in a relationship build your trust in each other and it just makes you have so much confidence in your relationship because you know you trust your partner ultimately being in the lifestyle and going through so many different experiences just makes you so much closer and it really helps to melt away that jealousy if you're really confident in your relationship not to say that you will never experience jealousy jealousy is a very common emotion but going back to what we were talking about communication you're able to work through that and really get to the basis of like why are you feeling jealous but whenever you go deeper into your lifestyle journey, we do feel like that jealousy does tend to diminish because you're able to trust your partner that much. And if you guys want like a full video on jealousy, because I feel like we do get that question a lot of like how we dealt with it at the beginning, how we kind of overcame that, how we continue to be strong in that way, definitely let us know down below because we could always make a video just on jealousy because I feel like it's a huge topic. But definitely, that's number four. It helps strengthen our relationship because it helps reduce jealousy immensely. The fifth way that swinging makes us stronger is that it has immensely improved our own self-confidence in both ourselves and in our relationship. Mm -hmm. So this also kind of goes into that last one that we were talking about with jealousy because whenever you are truly confident in your relationship, confident in yourself, and know that you guys are enough for each other, and this is just, like I said earlier, sprinkles on the cake. It's not anything that's necessary, but it's just a fun thing. Thing, it really increases your confidence, increases your trust, and reduces all of that jealousy. And to us, self-confidence is one of the most important things in the lifestyle. There's nothing more attractive than a person that is very confident. And being able to learn how to have, I said, that confidence in yourself, and then also that confidence with your partner, it's just the most attractive thing in the world to be able to truly feel confident and feel safe in your relationship. And the lifestyle over the years has let us just work and work and work and we feel so confident in each other. And I feel like that's one of those things you just build with time, you build with experience. And that's not just swinging experiences, but you know, going to the club and having those talks, those communication, that confidence just gets stronger and stronger. And having that truly makes everything that much better. That's another thing if you guys want like a full video on confidence and how we because we were very not confident people and how we kind of like overcame that and got to where we feel great about ourselves and about our relationship. We can also make like a longer video on that because I also feel like it's a video in itself, but definitely confidence in our relationship and ourselves has been immensely, immensely improved by that swinging lifestyle. For example, things that have helped us with our self-confidence in the lifestyle is you're always wanting to be your best self, both physically and mentally. And whenever you're going out and you're meeting new people, you're kind of, it's kind of like a first date, right? So you want to make a great first impression and so then you're working on yourself and I feel like that really helps with our self-confidence and then if you're going out and having spicy experiences you are working on confidence in ways in the bedroom if you feel what I'm saying yeah. it also helps with your mental confidence having to go up and talk to people and how to communicate to people and like get really comfortable at just 
being able to communicate really well. I felt like when I first would go up, I was so shy, I was so nervous to talk to people, and now I feel like I can go up and talk to anybody, and that's built that mental confidence. So there's so many different aspects and ways that it really helps build your confidence. So there is five ways on how the swinging lifestyle helps improve and strengthen our relationship. So I hope that helped explain it a little bit to you guys. If you guys have any questions about any of it, make sure to comment down below. And like I said, if you have any ideas for videos that you guys really want to see, make sure to comment those down below. But thank you so much. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and we will see you guys in the next one. Bye!